to the business report. Management of Intercity State Transport Company is confident the much talked about 3rd October auction of the company's properties will not come off. It cites ongoing negotiations between majority shareholder SNIT, government represented by the Transport Ministry and Prudential Bank on how best to settle the 7 million Ghana cities owed the bank by STC. Just to repeat what the Director General of SNIT said this morning, that um, the auction is not going to come off. Uh, of, of course, um, we respect the decision of the court, the, 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 the ruling of the court about the need to them to auction our properties because we use this property as a collateral for a loan that we took from the company. Okay, but th those processes have gone through and we know for a fact that the discussions are going on. We just hope to see, have um, a fair idea of how the situation will be managed and then we'll be, we'll be okay with ourselves. STC has been unable to pay its debts because it is on the verge of bankruptcy, a situation it blames on the inadequate number of buses to serve its, its routes. Joy News learned there are just about 47 buses with more than half of the number breaking down. STC has been running since. The only problem is that um, the number of our buses has reduced. Okay, So that means that if we're running like six services to Takwadi in a day, now we're running like two or three. If we used to run five services to Temale, now we're running just three. Other factors such as consistent reshuffles in management, poor work culture and failure to adhere to bus schedules have all been blamed for the company's woes, especially in the face of growing competition in the sector. The Workers' Union, meanwhile, says it has sent a petition to the presidency to intervene. A copy of the document dated September 20th highlights the company's indebtedness, which the union puts at 43 million Ghana cities owed to various banks and institutions, including the National Investment Bank. It also traces the genealogy of the loan contracted from Prudential Bank, it says was used to purchase FAW buses, which started breaking down after two weeks on the road. The workers, who say they have not received salaries for the past three months, blame management under the leadership of then board chairman Stephen Setre Abankwa, who was also managing director of Prudential Bank, for not exercising due diligence in the transaction. They want government to investigate the transaction and also revamp STC by injecting capital to restructure their operations. Meanwhile, government has indicated it is considering bringing in a strategic investor to take over the company. Mr. DeGraft Johnson tells Joy News over 16 private companies, both foreign and local, have already indicated their interest. Now to some aviation stories. An Antrac Air started flights Monday from Accra to Sunyane in its bid to expand, promote and facilitate business transactions for the general public. Essentially, this move also includes flying staff of Newman Ghana to and from their mines in the Bongahafu region. Chief Commercial Officer of Antrac Air spoke to Joy News about its new operations. The flights which resumed on Monday form part of the company's plans to expand as well as facilitate travel for business and leisure. Antrax's chief commercial officer, Kweku Ntribuesiako, said the company's contract with Newmont, Ghana, will allow it to fly profitably to and out of Sunyang. He explains there will be six flights each week. We do six flights a week, Monday to Saturday, and, and it is good for us uh, as a company because um, one reason most airlines have shied away from from Sunyani is because you don't have the same number of uh, passengers as you do have on say the Kumasi route and so to have some minimum guarantee from from a, a world class company it makes it possible for us to offer the service to to the public as well meanwhile he says the public will have to be wary of airlines that are offering mouth watching first adding such deals could come at a compromise. If you are a, I mean, a traveler, you should be interested in your airline making profit in order to maintain the level of safety and quality that is required. If an airline is making losses and is not planning to do anything about it, I would urge you not to fly with that airline because the possibility of cost cutting is there. And with airline, if you cut costs, you are, you, are, you are putting the lives of people at risk. In another development, Joy News has lent CityLink, another internal operator, will from next month resume its domestic operations. 
as well as fly to the Saab region. The company has announced it has secured a deal with Egypt Air, which has now become a minority stakeholder in CityLink. Now, banking consultants have hailed the Bank of Ghana's decision to lift sanctions on Access Bank's foreign exchange transactions. They have described the decision to revoke the ban on Access Bank as good for the development of the banking industry. The central bank effective yesterday lifted the six-month ban it imposed on Access Bank due to breaches of the Foreign Exchange Act. This implies the ban lasted for approximately six weeks instead of the six months earlier indicated by the central bank. A principal consultant with the National Banking College, Rich Monakwisi Ituahene, lauded the central bank for carrying out its mandate and its decision to lift the ban. According to a statement from the Bank of Ghana, it reviewed the ban after the bank put in place internal control measures to forestall the recurrence of the breaches. And that's it for the business report, but of course we'll leave you with some smart investment tips and some market data. Welcome to the world of show business. Well, as you probably are aware by now, we here at Multimedia are getting ready for the biggest outdoor event in West Africa, and that's the Joy FM's Old Schools Reunion. It's an event that reunites past students on one platform. For the past weeks, we have seen different old students association converge at the forecourt of Joy FM to talk about the good old days ahead of the big event, which comes off on the 29th of this month. Past students of the senior high schools and universities across the country continue to gear up for Joy FM's old school reunion, which comes off this Saturday at the Trade Fair Center. Tonight, at the promises of Joy FM, Spartans from the University of Education, Winneba, took their turn to unleash some jammer songs just like their other counterparts. <laughs> they have put up an impressive performance doing their drama in style. The Spartans are confident they are going to carry the day come Saturday the 29th. The Joy FM Old Schools reunion is an annual event. Now, the much-anticipated radio and television personality awards will now come off on October 13. Big Events Ghana organizers of the program announced a new date at a press briefing in Accra today. The awards, originally scheduled for July 28 this year, was postponed following the demise of President John Atta Mills and some big music artists, including music highlife maestro Kojo Enchi, uh, singer Ifia, Aaron Rough and Smooth, and other acts are expected to perform at the RTP Awards. And that's how we wrap up Showbiz. and welcome to the sports segment of the news. The executive committee of the Ghana Football Association has elected Fred Crento as the vice president of the association. The Hearts of Folk chief executive officer replaces Jordan Anagla who passed on earlier this year. And Fred Crento who is an executive committee member of the FA came into the election held at the headquarters of the Ghana Football Association unopposed. 
after Central Regional Football Association Chairman MNS Do and Al Haji Adam Munkaila, who is Northern Regional Re FA Chairman, withdrew. Fred Krentel was highly tipped as favourite following his exploits at the nation's football governing body. He acted in President Christina Antichi's capacity um, whenever he was out of the country and had also publicly declared his interest in the position which became vacant after the death of Jordan Anagla four months ago. His position as Chief Executive Officer of former Hearts of Folk, of former Africa champions Hearts of Folk, is currently unstable with the end of his contract quite near. The new Vice President of the Ghana Football Association will join other members of the executive and emergency committee of the Ghana Football Association as well as reps of all other clubs for the extraordinary congress of the FA at the Ghana Man Soccer, of, Soccer Center of Excellence in Pram Pram. Now, interim head coach of the Black Satellites, Maxwell Kunedu, says his team is preparing feverishly for the second leg of the final qualifier against Morocco, despite a comfortable win against the North Africans last Saturday at the Tamale Sports Stadium, last Sunday actually, and Ghana will play the Atlas Lions in the return leg in the final qualifier to the 2013 Africa Youth Championship to be held in Algeria. And we'll bring you details of that and more in our subsequent bulletins of sports. Good evening. Well, that's all we have for you on Joy News at 8. My name is Nia Kofi Smatabi. Many thanks for your company.